students today we are going to learn about the theorem which is sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 before going to learn the theorem first we should know about some basic concepts which you are going to see now in that first one is plane a plane is flat surface extending infinitely in all the directions students observe in the video a plane is extending infinitely in all the directions second one is point a circle with negligible radius is called a point students observe in the video radius of the circle go on decreasing the circle becomes negligible therefore the circle becomes a point with negligible radius the next definition is straight line straight line is nothing but set of infinite number of points extending infinitely in both the directions students observe in the video straight line is nothing but set of infinite number of points extending infinitely in both the directions students if you observe carefully a straight line contains 180 degrees it is also called linear angle next polygon a simple closed figure having many sides is called a polygon for example the first example is a polygon which is containing eight sides in it and the second one is a polygon with seven sides third one is a polygon with six sides fourth one is a polygon with five sides and fifth one is a polygon with four sides and the last one is a polygon with three sides next triangle a triangle is a polygon with three sides in it let us do one activity take a triangle abc and cut all the three vertices of a triangle as shown in the figure and arrange them as shown in the figure and if you observe carefully the sum of all those three angles is 180 degrees which is also called linear angle now let us come to the point of sum of the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 which we are going to see now take a triangle abc and name the angles 1 2 3 as shown in the figure required to prove angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degrees construction draw a line l through a which is parallel to bc proof l is parallel to bc and ab is the transverse therefore angle 2 is equal to angle 4 as they are alternate angles take that is as equation number 1 and as l is parallel to bc and ac is the transverse angle 3 is equal to angle 5 again there are alternate angles which is equation number 2 we know that angle 1 is equal to angle 1 every angle is equal to itself which is equation number 3 now add equation 1 2 and 3 we get angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to angle 1 plus angle 4 plus angle 5 but we know that angle 1 plus angle 4 plus angle 5 is equal to 180 degrees as they are linear angles therefore angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degrees hence the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees is proved